to share with you our beddings and how we make the bed um, when we're traveling. We're just gonna put the um, couch down first. For the side ottoman, you have to press on this button right here. And we put two Velcro dots on this cushion and the other cushion so that when we drive, the cushion doesn't fly out. But we're going to buy um, a more sticky ones because it does fall down sometimes. Okay, after the bed is down, we would take a, a two inch memory foam topper that we store inside the house. So this is the two inch memory foam that we can buy and cut it to size. And we have the cover for the memory foam. Before we used to uh, put the memory foam down and then put the sheet over, but then the sheets move throughout the night. Um, it gets bunched up. So I decided to uh, to use the two sheets that we have at from home and just sew two pieces together. It's just like um, a duvet cover. That way, when I wash, I can just take it off and wash. This way, the sheet will be on tight like this, and no matter how much we move throughout the night, it still stays straight. And we store our comforter in here. We have a down comforter. It's queen size. And my husband has his special mugweek pillow <laughs> that he has to have it everywhere he goes. So I just used one of the throw pillow that came with the van. Actually, I took off the, the cover that uh, came with the van and I bought this soft, cozy, comfortable pillow cover from um, Amazon. Is 16 by 16 and I made a pillowcase and this is my pillow to sleep on and to unroll the ground comforter like this This is the extra pillow. Ah. This will be my sleeping pillow. This is my Vincent's. Vincent, my husband's pillow. Extra pillow. One cool thing about this bed is when we watch TV, we could just brace up the back side and, and just watch TV like this. Or we could even put it up higher. Okay. Or even like this to watch TV at nighttime. So it's like a, a reclining. Uh, adjustable bed and in the morning to make the bed we just have to throw down the pillow first <laughs> and just um, fold the comforter in three parts 
like this. And just start at one end. You have to roll it up really tight at the beginning. Up. Like this. Just to compress it as much as you can. So that it will stay tight and small for storage. To put the Velcro strap back on, just strap it in and tighten it. And ta -da! that's how it's rolled up. And then we just store it right in here. Okay, we store this in here. There's still a lot of space here for other storage. Okay, for the pillowcase, just store it on the bottom shelf here. And my husband's special pillow, <laughs> it goes on the bottom shelf here. Oh, okay, and to put away the uh, memory form, you have to fold it up like that so I could uh, retract the ottoman. The other ottoman. Okay, the next step is to put the couch back up. Oh. All right, so since we don't want to uh, store the memory form uh, topper right here, we just drape it over the couch portion and just fold it up like this. And I have a very comfortable throw. I just throw it over just to make it look nice. And uh, this is the throw that we use to um, put over the comforter when it's really cold too. And we just put the throw over. Like this. Put the armrest back. And put the throw pillows on. And I have this as my body pillow to sleep on. So we put it here in the morning. And this is how we set it up um, during the daytime. And um, so when we, if we have to eat inside, we can still use the um, lagoon table and sit here very comfortably. So this saves a lot of space uh, for us so that we don't have to find a place to store the memory foam topper. And we really need the memory to foam topper to sleep on.